Good morning. And this morning I want to talk about the switch. And specifically what I want to talk about is how to transfer data from one SD card to another. So for instance, if you've got an SD card in your switch and you've bought a new SD card and you want to transfer the data on the existing SD card to the new SD card, this is how you would go about it. You need a PC to do this and you'll also need uh, an SD card reader. So if you haven't got that, then stop and go and get yourself one. Uh, and I'll put some links into stuff like that in the uh, description. But before you start doing any of this, you'll need to turn off your switch. Now, normally when you turn off your switch, you would go into sleep mode. But you're not going to do that here. What you're going to do here is you're going to have to turn off the power completely. And the way you would go about turning off the power completely is you would press and hold the power button for around three seconds. And what that does is it would actually completely power down the switch and prevent the possibility of losing data on the SD card. Not likely, but it could happen. So we'll do that now. And as you can see, we've got sleep mode, power options and close. And what we want is power options. So if we select that now, and that brings up a menu that says restart, power off and close. We want power off, obviously. So we select that now. And that begins the process of shutting down the switch. And as you can see, it's actually shut down. So once it's shut down, you can then go and remove the SD card. And the way you would go about doing that is you would actually just flip up the kickstand and then you can push the SD card that's currently in there gently with your thumb and that will release it. And once it's been released, you should be able to then gently pull it out. There you go. As you can see in the top right corner there, I've removed my SD card. And then you can go and move on to the next part. So let's do that now. OK, right, so we're now back at the desktop and I've got my SD card out of my switch, as you saw. So what I'm going to do is I've actually put that into a, an SD card adapter to USB and I'm going to plug that into the computer and then we can see what we do next. Right, so as you can see, the uh, the screen has just popped up with the USB drive on it and it says USB drive H and as you can see there's one folder in there and that says Nintendo and if we double click on that it will show us all the different things. It says album and we've got various bits and pieces in there. We don't need to go into that. Contents and save and save meta but we don't need to know anything about that. doesn't matter. All we need to know is that we need to take this and drag it to the desktop. So I'm going to do it with the right button on the mouse. Drag it to the desktop and select copy here. I'm not going to move because, well, frankly, if you move it across and something goes wrong, <laughs> you're not going to have your data on your card anymore. Or there's a good chance that you won't have your data on your card anymore. So I'm moving it across or copying it across, I should say. And once that's done, I should be ready for the next step. So just bear with me. OK, so now the data has finished uh, copying across. As you can see, we've got a Nintendo folder. And uh, that's all ready to go. And if we open up that one and this one, put them side by side, you should see that the contents look identical. So there you go. They look identical. Everything looks rosy. We're ready to go. So the next thing you want to do is click on the USB drive that you just copied the data across from and you want to eject that. And now you can remove that from your PC. OK, so that's now done and it's been removed from the PC. And what we want to do now is change over to the new SD card. So let's do that now. OK, so now the new SD card or micro SD card is plugged into my SD card adapter 
and I'm about to plug it into the PC, so just bear with me. And as you can see, that new drive has now showed up and it's got nothing in it, which is what we want. And it's USB drive H. So if I just right click on that and show you properties, it says it's 366 gig. Now, don't worry about that. What you'll find is the oddness of the, <laughs> the way they measure these things means that these drives are never as big as they are advertised. So 366 is about what you would expect. So anyway, that's as it should be. The only issue with it now, though, is that we are going to have to format it. Now, it might work OK. Let's just see how it's formatted already. It's uh, already uh, formatted as XFAT. And that should be fine, and it should work perfectly well with the switch. However, you may run into problems, and if you do, you may want to reformat the drive. So I'm going to show you that as well. And Nintendo recommend using a program called SD Card Formatter. And, and that's the software that's been released by the foundation that sets up the standards. So it should format the drive exactly as it should be because the switch conforms to those standards. So if you do run into problems and you use this software, should sort out any of those problems and it should work OK. So let's just go into that now. As you can see, it's at the top left there. I'll double click on that and load it up. And there you go. Let's just reduce this to the taskbar for a moment. As you can see, we've got this and it's saying H. So let's just go back into that and make sure that we've got the right drive. USB drive H. Yeah, so that's fine. So that's the drive we want. And you've got various options here. 366.82 gig, which is the drive we want. Quick format, overwrite format, CHS format size adjust. Now, what we want on this is overwrite format because we want a complete overwrite of anything on the USB drive or the SD card. And we want to make sure that it's all set and working as it should in order to get the data across. So then all you do, you can put a volume label in, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll actually call it switch. So we've called that switch and we're going to format it. And this may take a little while. It says formatting will erase all data on this card. Do you want to continue? Well, I do. Yes. If you have a card and you've already got stuff on it and you still want to keep that stuff, then you want to pull that off before you start this process. Because once this process starts, that's it. You've lost all the data on the card. So just a warning there. Anyone who's not done this before, do bear that in mind. Make sure you back up anything that's on that card before you begin. And I know a lot of you know how to do this, but some people don't. And it's important that they know that this is uh, what you need to do. So anyway, let's press yes and carry on. And it will begin the process of formatting. And this is going to take a while. OK, so now you can see the formatting was successful, so uh, we're all ready to go. So if we get out of this, we just have a look. The SD card has been formatted, so everything seems to be OK there. If we just go into File Explorer and we should be able to see, there you go, switch. And that's our micro SD card. So there should be nothing in there. So all we do now is with the micro SD card formatted and I'll just show you the way it's been formatted. If you look there, it's XFAT and it has nothing in it and uh, it's down there again. The space 366 gig, so that should be fine. So all we need to do now in order for it to be usable with the Switch, with all the games and apps that we already had on the Switch, we just need to drag the Nintendo folder into the SD card. And I'm going to copy it again. When in doubt, I always copy because uh, if you copy it across and things go wrong, at least you've got the original still. So, uh, yeah, you shouldn't have any problems. And that basically is it. So uh, we just wait until that completes. 
and we're ready to go to the next stage. So just bear with me and uh, we will return when this is done. OK, and we're back. Uh, it took a little while for that to copy across, but uh, as you can see now, we've got the Nintendo folder inside the SD card that I called Switch. And if we just look again in the one that I've copied across and the one that's on the desktop, they should be identical. And yes, they are. So, yeah, that's all done and dusted and ready to go. Now, all we need to do now is remove this from the PC and take it to the switch and it should be good to go. Um, one thing I will say, though, before I continue here is if you've got the ability to have two SD cards connected at once, which I currently haven't for some reason because I've lost my other SD card reader that had more than one slot, um, if you have got that ability, then you should be able to just transfer between SD cards. But I ha I didn't have that option. So that would be a bit quicker and an easier way of going about it. But as it is, that's how I had to do it. But anyway, as I say, that's done, ready to go. We just need to move to the switch and put it in and then test to see if it's all working. So bear with me and we'll go and do that. OK, as you can see, we're back at the desktop and uh, it all seems to be working fine. Obviously, the first thing you're going to need to do before you go into your desktop is make sure you put your new SD card into your switch. So don't forget to do that. And you would do that in pretty much the same way as you took it out. <laughs> you just take up the flap at the back and put it back in. And once that's done, then you can go to your switch and have a look at it as we're doing here. And I'm just going to go into settings and then go down to data management. And if you look at data management, you can see we've got the system memory there and that's got 23.3 gig of space available. And we've got the micro SD card that's got 277 gig of space available. And that is the 400 gig SD card that we've just put in. So that seems to be working perfectly fine. As I said before, it's going to report as having lower capacity than the advertised 400, which I bought, but that's just the way things are. So anyway, if we go back to the desktop and we go in and try a game, let's do the Capcom beat em up bundle. And if I select that and go in and have a look at that. As you can see, this all seems to be loading up perfectly well, so everything does, in fact, seem to be working. And this is a lot of fun, this game. Uh, I would recommend this to anybody, especially if you're into old school fighters and all that kind of stuff. I'm not big into them, but I do enjoy them. But anyway, I'm not going to play this now. Let's uh, head back to the desktop again. And... Uh, if you have a look along here, everything seems to have loaded up perfectly well. And if we go into all software, as you can see, I haven't got as much software as some people, but it's all there. And uh, SNK, that's another one, 40th anniversary collection. That's definitely one that I would recommend to anybody that is interested in old or retro gaming. But that's it, really. It's all working fine. The new SD card's in and... Uh, I'm happy and hopefully this one will have helped you guys out. I'm done. I'm going to go and grab myself a cup of tea and uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.